evening. Welcome to the stream. After finishing the neonative challenge yesterday, I think we'll take it a bit slower today. Uh, today we will we'll be playing the uh, our old uh, interloper file. Uh, we are currently in Mountain Town on day 77. Uh, I have no idea what's going on in that file. Uh, and I'm sure we're going to be in for some surprises just to figure out what is going on there. Um, let's load it up, let's find it. In survival mode, let's load this one. Please not Black Rock. <laughs> Great name. Uh, yeah, perfect. Let's load it up. Alright, so we're in Paradise Meadows Farm. It is early in the morning. Uh, we look quite fed. Uh, like properly fed. So that's good. I'm assuming we've already looted this place properly. Uh, we left ourselves some tiny teas. That's good. Uh, what have we got going on in our inventory? Right, we got some coal, some sticks. We are quite overweight, so we'll have a look at that in a moment. Uh, we have many teas here. Uh, also carrying around these useless painkillers. Uh, I'll drop them. And just find a place to put them for now. Let's just uh, let's put them here by the T's. Uh, I don't think we'll ever use them. Uh, oh, we've got some additional clothing on us, right? And that's obviously clothing, clothing. <laughs> it's obviously clothing that we picked up here. And um, and we have enough cloth. So let's have a look. Uh, those gloves are easy leather, uh, so let's just wait for one second before doing anything about that. Um, okay, like that. Hmm. Now the question is, do we repair and keep this stuff, or do we just ignore it? Like this thin wool isn't a bad idea just to keep alive, but um, <laughs> let's do that. Okay, we got some good food on us, and uh, type of toolage do we have here? Not too much. Not carrying like excessive amount of stuff. Okay, it doesn't look that bad. Uh, let's quickly harvest this arrow. Um, and maybe... Let's repair this guy. Freaking hour, are you serious right now? It's a long time. Well, I feel like it's a long time. Okay, we'll spend our morning repairing a little bit. Uh, let's harvest this. Wow, well, 10 minutes for a cured leather. That's nice. That's really decent. And then these crappy socks. 40 minutes? Are we that bad? Still at repairing stuff? Wow. You're terrible at it, buddy. I mean, you're doing really well at it, but I just mean your skill is terrible. Alright, let's... Uh, so let's move this thin wool in here. 
Let's move these socks in here. And let's make a note of it. Uh, clothing. Oh, what the hell? Uh, so there are wool socks in paradise meadows farm. Perfect. And there is a thin wool sweater in paradise meadows farm excellent okay cool uh, now we only have two cloth uh, maybe we'll just take that one and we'll break it apart yeah that's okay we don't need the parka honestly we got much better much better coats and now we at least have four cloth again okay cool and uh, this stuff's gonna be curing here for a moment uh, we still got quite a few arrows that's decent we got a decent amount of water okay looking good uh, let's move up a bit well, let's see what it looks like outside mm-hmm not too bad not too bad at all. Alright, so we'll eat a little bit. We'll leave a steak or two here and then we'll move. Uh... Hey, sweet. What's up? How's it going? How was your stream? You went for really long. Uh, so let's head to my grandmother's, then we'll head to the church. <laughs> wow. That is a... That is a monster of a stream, huh? Well, well done for making it uh, all the way through. How long have you been... How long have you survived now in your file? What is the... What is the day count already at? Because you were looking stacked when I left. Go watch probably another hour or so, and then uh, the little man was getting a bit fussy, so we did uh, bedtime and playtime and all the. Okay, yes, wow, that is really good. I see some saplings there in the corner. I'm just gonna go grab them, so we can at least put them down. Yeah. I mean, I saw you hunt that deer as well. Uh, so yeah, I think if you just repeat it with the the rifle, life's gonna be good. All right. So today, uh, after that intense, intense uh, run, uh, like the challenge. I just came back to my interloper file. We're gonna take this one a little bit further. And there's not too much of a rush. It's gonna take things nice and slow. Uh, I'm probably heading over to Ash River Valley. <laughs> yeah, I might. I might. <laughs> uh, we'll see. We'll see if I. Uh, I feel up for it a bit later. <laughs> Man, it was kind of brutal. It was uh, it was a little bit crushing, but no stress. Uh, it does show me that I can definitely make it, and I also learned here that rushing for the clothing is probably a good idea because I kind of took my time. Um, but I now at least have a better idea of how the frostbite mechanic works. So I'll probably uh, be a bit less relaxed about that. Okay, I think we're just going to skip Grey Mothers altogether. We're going to end up here at the church now. 
We'll just drop our stuff in the church, I think. Actually, we're... Oof. Fuck, where is it? Oh, he's silent. Uh, it is like the perfect volume. I'm <laughs> I cannot tell the difference between the two. <laughs> Fucking hell, every time I jump. <laughs> nah, it's funny. Welcome in. <laughs> Hope life is good. <laughs> Always making an entrance, huh? <laughs> So, uh, how's life going? How's your weekend so far? <coughs> oh, sorry. I went to uh, a bit of shopping today. Starting to look for some... some things for the new house. So I looked at TVs and fridges and beds and couches. Was good. I know a lot more than I did before. Uh, I won't buy stuff at a store. I think I'll probably buy everything online. But I needed to see the things to know what I actually want. You know. It's not. Uh, yeah, it's not always possible to know what you want until until you've seen it. Okay, very good, very good. Uh, so I'm assuming you also had to sit through the birthday party? Was it like a... Uh, like one she was invited to? And then you just had to tag along? Was it a more family type affair? What was the deal with said party? Oh, hello. Look at that. Gee whiz. And uh, now we have two. So we'll go drop one somewhere. I think we'll probably put it down here at the beginning, at the entrance soon. Nice. Some food. Yeah, alright. Very good, very good. Okay, cool. Yeah, so uh, I saw an interesting thing here. So back in South Africa, I uh, most of the stuff I bought from my house there was Samsung. And it was quite pricey, like it's quite a expensive brand, especially in South Africa. And when we got here, I'm going to put it here, and then I'm going to step on it, and then it breaks. Click. Uh, and here in the Netherlands, like, Samsung is really cheap. <laughs> compared to all the other stuff. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Like, i uh, standing in all the stores, and I'm looking at the Samsung stuff still with it in my head that it's all going to be really expensive. <laughs> I feel bloody rich. <laughs> oh, that's really cool. <clears throat> okay, let's keep pushing. I am hoping that we have a moose at the top. That'll be absolutely great. Uh, then we can really put down some some decent food there at the top, like by the trailer. And then we'll probably hunt the bear. 
and uh, yeah, I think they're gonna head to Harsh River Valley. I think that's gonna be the plan. What's our fire starting here? Four already. Okay, great. And I'm going to Ash River Valley. I don't know it that well. I think I'm going to start mapping it out. Like I've mapped it once before, uh, but this gives us an opportunity to do it again. Because mm, the thing that still confuses me is how the cave systems there work. Like I know there is a cave system that connects almost the entire map to each other, like that's how you get around, like a mole. Um, and I have like a rough idea of where they exit, but I also know there's more than one cave system. Uh, so I'd like to figure out what the difference is. Uh, talking about moles, are you all watching Who is the Mole? on Netflix. It's really good. Uh, I was telling my wife we have a show here in Netherlands, uh, Wie is the Mole, which is like the Dutch of Who is the Mole, and it is exactly that show. Um, but I told my wife that that show would be a ton better, the Dutch one, if it were directed by like American directors or produced by American producers, I don't know. I guess produced, not directed. It's not a fucking movie. Uh, but if it were produced, like uh, more American style, and it is exactly what I had anticipated. It's really good. Just warm up for a second or two, uh, and then we'll go see if our moose is here. But I don't see the markings from here, which means he's probably not. Uh, we'll probably just have to go for the bear. Uh, but we'll we'll first stop in the trailer and just craft some stuff so we can warm up again. You watched The Watcher? That sounds cool. Uh, I'll keep an eye out for it. I'll watch out for it. <laughs> okay, let's go in. Uh, let's warm up by crafting a little bit. More shitty food, I like it. See, so this is one of the only places where I have to sleep in the top bunk. Uh, me and Pam were talking about it the other day. <laughs> That's right. Uh, silent! You missed two streams, and yesterday in the middle of the stream, Sai died. Sai died, yo. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Sad face. Uh, yesterday was quite a, a rough day for Tamagotchis. Many of them died. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> After that, I made a bit of a mistake, and the new ones, <laughs> they died a little bit quick. 
uh, but I think it should be solved now. <laughs> uh, that's what I'm hoping. That's what I'm hoping. Oh, cool. You got a panda. What did you have last time? Okay, yes, you had the bear second. That's right. Okay, we're gonna pop the scrap metal and these feathers in here. We don't need to hang on to it. Um, uh, I also lost mine. Uh, maybe I'll join you. Uh, let's see what I get. Oh, cool. I got a puppy this time. Uh, that's nice. Uh, let's name him uh, Patch. I'm sure he's got a little patch over his eye, right? <laughs> Here's his name, Duh. <laughs> that is great. <laughs> Oh, silent. Nice. We both got dogs today. <laughs> that is good. That is very clever. <laughs> nice. Alright, let's go have a look for our bear. Because uh, I don't think we have a... Yeah, double dogs. What up, dog? Call him Snoop. Okay, I don't see any moose markings here. Guess we're out of luck when it get, comes to that. Uh, what does that mean? Where would this moose be then? Uh, it's the one in the valley, right? Uh, what is it called? Molten Basin, I think, is the name. So I guess that's where our moose is hiding. There is a deer here. Uh, I don't know if it's worth it though. Maybe we just get the bear. Uh, nah, I think food closer to home is good. No, we're not in a rush. Let's uh, also play it like that. Okay, nice. Very nice. Uh, no spaces though, eh? So he'll just be Scooby. Uh, so you can maybe use underscores or capitalization or something if you want the full name. wind seems to be picking up slightly um, but we're gonna take a chance we're gonna see if we can cook him up hey fox how's it going man welcome in how is life treating you what's new what's happening Okay, good. Now it's over. Um, as Roxette said, must have been love, but it's over now. Must have been love, uh, but it ended somehow. Alright, 
We're getting a little bit cold, but uh, it's okay. We're gonna make a fire now next to our deer. Uh, you don't work on weekends, right, Fox? You you do have weekends off. Yes, I'm assuming so, because you work in a, a lab. And usually those things are quite uh, strict on access control. Right, you don't want people just... Uh, Coming in and out as they please. Okay, looking good. Uh, there's another tail there. Yeah, okay, but do you want? <laughs> that is the question. Like we all need some time to ourselves, I think. <laughs> All right, I get you. Long week is long. <laughs> That's good. Uh, is that a new emote? I haven't seen that one yet. That's looking good, man. If it's new, very nice. If it's old, very nice. Okay, so we're just harvesting up this place. <coughs> that glitchy bear one is really cool. I kind of like it. Yeah, I kind of like it, man. Think it's think it's all right. Yeah, perfect. Uh, sweet. Thank you so much for uh, coming to say hi. Uh, sorry again, I killed all your tomas. <laughs> uh, but gives us a chance to <laughs> to try again. Uh, okay, game. I obviously lit a torch. Like, why the hell? <laughs> Oh shit. Uh, <laughs> bringing the deer right to your door. <laughs> oh, oops, I uh, used the. Okay, well. Now we have more than enough time to do all this. But yeah, enjoy the movies. Sweet. Hope it uh, hope it's fun. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All the delivery services. Yeah, they don't have kangaroos in here, otherwise a uh, delivery would also be kinda cool. Like some joke about the liver So we have another one here uh, called Thuisbesorgd, which is like uh, what is it? How how would I explain it? It's like home delivery, I guess, if you translate it. But I found out the other day when I saw them advertise on TV, they're owned by Takeaway.com, which is quite a big company. It's very interesting how all these things usually lead back to like one company owning everything. Uh, like if you think about drinks as well, think about all household products, all that shit. It's always one company that owns the market. Alright, we're gonna push it here until the storm might catch us out, and then we have to get going. Uh, hopefully not. Hopefully we can just uh, 
cook in peace, but that's rarely a thing that happens. okay yeah so I was thinking if I want to take on that challenge again or if I might do something else uh, I want to push this interloper run past my personal best so I think that might be my next focus for a moment uh, is just to get this one a bit further uh, or I was thinking so that previous run got me thinking that uh, crafting early is really important and I might set up a like fastest craft uh, I'll call it five minute crafts or some shit uh, but essentially just uh, the same idea drop all your clothing but this time you can use all, anything and craft a full set of gear like Right, the hat, the two coats, the gloves, uh, a set of pants and boots and the satchel uh, as fast as you can. That'll be a cool one. I think it'll take about uh, like under 50 days, so maybe 30 days or so, which is nice. I think that's a good time for a challenge. And then obviously... Uh, can try and make it even faster. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Look at all our beautiful food. Okay, so we'll cook that one. We will cook like a tea as well. Seven and three. Uh, if we use the knife, I think, yeah, that'll be good do a little bit of wastage. I don't think it's the end of the world. Uh, let's eat this one because it's so tiny and we'll do like maybe a liter of water. Yeah perfect and then we'll grab the other gut and this time we can just use our hand. Yeah, okay, that worked out pretty well. I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. Okay, and now we can take it back to the trailer. Uh, we'll also take our meat. We're going to be going mm, quite slow. I uh, hope you all have a moment. <laughs> uh, this is the speed we're going at. <laughs> Alright, silent. Have a beautiful evening. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, remember that you're awesome. And I hope things figure themselves out. Quick. Pronto. No. That deer gave me a good old fright. Thought we were in trouble. Because we are going at a snail's pace. <laughs> well that's okay. Cool, so we got some food. Uh, I think this is really great. Um. <laughs> Night, sleep well. And, uh, yeah, then we'll head into Hushed River. Uh, I'll check in a moment if we have bear hides. Uh, otherwise, we might go hunt this bear quickly. Uh, the hunting part is... Alright, I heard him walking closer. Uh, it seems the coats do do their job every now and then. Uh, but he'll be back. He won't run far enough. 
Yeah. I know, buddy. I just light another one now. Um, so we're not in trouble. Yeah, whatever, dude. Cool. So I was so scared the other one burns out while we're like aiming and then we're in trouble. I've had that happen before. Uh, that time was due to the wind, but still, right? You don't want that the torch to go out while you're aiming. Uh, it really does mess up <laughs> the entire point of the thing that you're trying to do. I need to find a place to rest. Okay, so there's a wolf coming back now again for round number three. Uh, so we just got to keep an eye on him. Don't let him get too cocky with us. Oh. <laughs> he thought we were a bear once more. <laughs> These coats are working quite well. Maybe it's because I have the combination. So he's like confused. It's like it's a, it's a wolf and a bear. It's a bear and a wolf. Reminds me of cat dog. Cat dog. Cat dog. Uh, alone in the world is a little cat dog. That was a that was a very cool show. I don't remember a single story from it, but I remember that I enjoyed it. Oh, so many. <laughs> like, uh, luring the entire neighborhood with the wolves here. Uh, let's get rid of all this stench. <laughs> okay, cool. Very cool. Let's also drop the hide and the guts here. Excellent. Alright, so now we're really uh, getting some stuff. I think we're stacking up every base. <laughs> At some point we're going to be uh, left with not much to do. <laughs> so we just like uh, looted the whole world. Uh, luckily, it's still a bit left, I think, before we get to that stage. I think in the save, we were 44% uh, explored. Okay, nice. <clears throat> Another day closer. Um, so we've survived 75 days. Alright, not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, so we're going to leave all this gunk to cure here. Uh, let's see, is there something that we don't need to carry along with us? Maybe not all the sticks. Uh, yeah, maybe we can leave some of the sticks behind. Uh, I don't know if we need 60 cattails, that might be too much. <laughs> uh, that might be a little bit too much. Uh, we just need to be able to survive, right? So, uh, But I do need to put them in a container, that's for sure. Is there any other container here? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's a bit much. Uh, like, let's leave 40 of them here. Yeah, so we still have 20. I think that's 
pretty good. And then we'll stand here by the fire barrel and we drop some sticks as well. Okay, it's a bit windy, but it's not uh, not a bad day. Um, we'll drop like, I don't know, 30 sticks. Okay, let's chow down. Still really cold this time of day. I'm gonna take out this. I I'm scared these wolves are still hanging around here and then they smell me when I move my meat around. Alright. So let's give it a moment indoors, I mean you don't have to go and take some ridiculous amount of damage. Alright, that's good. Okay, the cave isn't far. We... We can move now. Won't be too big a concern. I mean, we'll be picking up some coal, so we can just make a fire inside if it's just looking too rough. Okay, so off to HRV. Uh, I'd like to figure out how that region works a bit better. Because uh, I know it's a strong spawn. But no amount of video watching is gonna like teach me the area properly. I'm just gonna have to go and experience it for myself. Let's go experience it. Oh, and what we're gonna try and do is grab oh a sneaky cold from the entrance. Uh, when you see them like that, there is a chance that you can uh, you can grab them. Uh, it is definitely possible because the cave entrance and the cave itself are separate areas when it comes to loot well actually even when it comes to the game they're completely separate levels if you've ever worked with unity uh, you know that these are different levels and that's what they call them so essentially they're different maps so if you took coal from the outside before you load into the map uh, it's not the same coal that would be inside. And that's useful to know. Because then maybe you can score an additional coal or two. I think they're only there for decorative purposes, though. Like. <laughs> but, I mean, you gotta take every advantage that you can. So if that's exploiting some long fingers, then uh, so be it. <clears throat> okay, cool. I like that we're coming out of here with some additional coal. 
Uh, HRV has quite a coal requirement, <laughs> as it's uh, yeah, I think it's a freaking freezing zone. Yeah, maybe we'll find a place that's warm enough. Okay, we're just gonna peek outside, but I have a suspicion that it's absolute garbage weather. Uh, well, we'll just peek our head out. Oh, it's not that bad. Okay, I expected it to be way worse. Uh, it's just the wind. <laughs> That's all. That's the only really bad part. Uh, but we'll push for a cave. <laughs> it feels like we're standing still. This wind is wild. Uh, so we can go either left, then we're going to get by the waterfall, as I remember, like that way around. Or we're going to go straight. Um, and then we get to, like, I don't know how to explain it, but there's this, like, cliff face where you can go down into a valley. And you can also go right somehow, and then there's a way to cross over here where there's a cave up there. That part I do know. But yeah, let's let's figure this place out a bit better. Especially the cave system. I think that's the... Oh right, you get up here somewhere with the cave system. Yeah, I think that's how it works. And then the one signal fire is up here, like to the right if you come out the cave and you turn left. And then to the other side is that, like, log. Uh, so let's have a look from here. If we can see anything interesting. Cool. Yeah, we want to get down there. We're going to go that way. And the cave we're looking for is there. Okay. Good. So we got a bit of a walk to go. Uh, Let's quickly just warm up a tea, warm ourselves up. Mm, I shouldn't use one in this, like in this save. In the other one it worked well because we only ever had torches. So it wasn't really like a problem. I could just immediately press one and get to the torch. And there's no way to set an order for it now. Come on, little fire. And let's add one of these. Let's see, yeah, that should warm us up. Great. Uh, let's drop a tea or two. Uh, we'll drop one of you. One of you, and one of you. Okay, perfect. Um, actually, let's not cook more, but let's craft some more. Uh, so we'll just pick these up. So if shit hits the fan, we can move as fast as possible. And we have an hour on that fire, so we can do... Let's do three, so we warm up properly. Uh, I guess we can do another two. 
him up a bit more, and then we'll grab a T, and we'll be on our way. Hmm, we even have time for two more. I think they're lighter when they're crafted, so it'll be in our benefit to to craft. All right, so we make a tiny T, and let's roll. <clears throat> okay, all the way down. Man, I think being in a situation like this, like an actual situation like this, is pretty terrifying. <laughs> Alright, so there is a chance of a bear hanging around here somewhere. So let's just keep vigilant. Oh, my mouse just stopped working. Holy shit, what was that? I couldn't turn there for a moment. <laughs> Holy shit. Hey, Raiders. Welcome in, Chip. Welcome in, Raiders. How is it going, everybody? Is it my torch making that sound, or a wolf? <laughs> Summer, welcome in. Hope you're doing incredibly. Uh, what's happening, Chip? Uh, I saw you're playing some long dark. Uh, your uh, collection run, right? How's that going? Have you collected everything yet? What, which map are you on now? What's up, Mustard? Welcome in. Hope life is good. Uh, for all the raiders here, uh, I am in Hushed River Valley. We just entered the region. Um, we are just exploring it a bit. Oh, okay, perfect. That's also great. Uh, let me just find a hot tea. Uh, so we're in Hushed River. Uh, was that one of you? <laughs> Shat myself. <laughs> um, yeah, I'd like to know the region a bit better. Uh, like, I'm always so scared that I spawn here. And then, uh, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So, I have an idea of the layout, like I do know about, you know, the, the basin down there and this cave, and I know about the ice cave systems, but I don't know where the ice caves lead exactly, uh, so that's something I'd like to figure out. Uh, so I think what we're going to do is, for today, I'm just going to set up shop, right, to get ourselves a stockpile of food. Just a moment. That's definitely our bear. Um, so I'm gonna stockpile some food, get get like a bit set up. Uh, man, this is actually the perfect opportunity. Right, right. As I'm talking about food, this guy just presents himself, uh, and then we're gonna start mapping. Right, so I want to map this place out. Again, I have done it before. Come on, uh, I do have the cartographer achievement, but I'd like to do it again, uh, refresh my memory, because I still don't feel I know what's going on. All right, Mr. Bear. Hey, hello, friend. Hey, dude. Come here. 
Yeah, come check. I have a, a jar of honey here for you. Or something. A, a bowl of salmon. Alright, so uh, the longer term objective here is to beat um, the 107. Right, I uh, really want to beat that one. Oh, okay, we're not gonna harvest this guy up Jesus now. Cold. Uh, actually, maybe we could. Should we make a fire here behind him? Let's see, are we covered? Yeah, I guess we could. I guess we could. Why? Why not? And then we can get ourselves some food. Come on. What, what do you mean? No. Why can't I put a fucking fire down here? Huh? <laughs> what? It's not too windy with wind sheltered game. Oh man, this game sometimes. Okay, I see. The problem is if we're wind sheltered, <laughs> then the fire isn't, and if the fire is, then we're not. Alright. Uh, I guess we'll move on. Um, but yeah, so in my attempt to survive so long. Uh, we'll also be obviously moving around, exploring some stuff. And this is one of those regions that I don't know. And after this one, uh, I'll probably go hit up Black Rock. Because I don't know what the hell's going on in that place. Uh, but I'm sure we can figure it out. Nice. Some cloth and some leather. Okay, and we're warming up in here. That is brilliant. Uh, so we'll just uh, just hang out for a bit until we can go grab our bear. Nothing too serious, right? Uh, no, we just want to chill. <clears throat> so how's it going with you all? Uh, any awesome weekend plans? Okay, great, and save. Uh, I went shopping today for some new things for my house. Like I bought a house recently. Uh, we haven't moved in yet. That's still coming. But I went looking for couches and TVs and fridges and washing machines and tumble dryers. and I saw a lot of stuff today, that's for sure. Uh, I'm quite excited to move. My current house is, or apartment, is annoying the crap out of me. Uh, and not because it's bad, it's actually a really nice place. Um, but the floors are made of wood. And I have a four month old son. And <laughs> every time I put him to sleep, I feel like I'm locked to the couch because I can't walk around because the floor makes so much noise that I just wake him up again. <laughs> it's kind of insane. Uh, let's see, I don't think we can use this. No. Always gotta, gotta take a chance, gotta make it a habit. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited to move to uh, have a bit of a quieter house, like everything in here just makes so much noise. The floor and the bed and the neighbors. <laughs> yeah, it's quite a noisy place. Alright, great. Let's cook up this bear. Uh, if we're fortunate enough with time, I'd like to also grab the hide. Uh, let's just see here. Is this wind gonna play along? Uh, 
Oh, yeah, yeah. oh no. We need to get ourselves wind sheltered once more. Uh, let's just see where that is. Damn, this game is really brutal today. <laughs> it's like we we can't be sheltered from the wind. Oh, that sucks, yo. Okay, well, we'll just grab what we can then. Uh, let's take the knife for now. Okay, it seems alright. Wolf wise, I mean. Uh, I'm gonna do one more. Yeah, we're gonna be cold. Uh, we'll go cook it up in the freaking cave then. Oh, that's really that's really unfortunate. Uh, are we still? It hasn't changed direction yet, right? No. Oh, that sucks. As we put it down. <laughs> uh oh. You heard that, right? Wasn't just me. There is something. Okay, but he's running after something. Oh, the little rabbits. All right. Um. Let's just pop them both. I don't like the wolf hanging around here. Uh, okay, I'll do that in a moment. Let's just put this meat down. Okay, perfect. Oh, he went so fast. <laughs> it felt like it. Maybe it was just me. Okay, but he'll be back for sure. Uh, maybe we can even lure him into the little cave here, and then use him as uh, yeah. Let's use this stuff as bait. And then we can get ourselves some dinner into the cave. Some at-home delivery. Alright, so we're in the warm part of the cave, in the cold part. Alright. Okay. So we want to make sure to make our fire at least in the cold part of the cave so it lasts longer. <clears throat> okay, we have been spending some matches here, that's for sure. Uh, let's put it there. Oh, and I hear our wolf. We'll pick up the meat again now. Maybe we can lure him in here. That'll be useful. Come on, little fire. Come on. No, you got it. You got it, lady. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. Well done, Astrid. Oh, let's get really stinky. Is this gonna work? Are we gonna lure him closer? Now I'm gonna come have a peek here and then he's gonna bum rush me. Huh. Not sure. Is it good? Yeah. Freezing. No, I don't think that's working. <laughs> okay. No, it was a good plan, but uh, not the best execution. That guy who drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. Okay, this will at least last us for a moment. Uh, 
Uh, we can at least make it till tomorrow. And then we can try again, go get the hide. Uh, because I need that to start curing. Uh, okay, so we need 40 minutes there. Oh, wow, he ate like almost a kilogram in that moment we walked from next to the cave to in front of the cave. Wow. Got, got a big mouth, huh? <laughs> I want to lure him closer, but I don't want to get too close where he just charges us. I need him to, like, stalk first. Ho 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 ho! That was close. Goodness, it worked. <laughs> it worked a bit too well. <laughs> I shat my pants. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, oh, <laughs> heal. That was rough. Okay. Oy, 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 that was. <laughs> that was wild. Holy moly, that's not what I was expecting. I thought I was still gonna. See <laughs> I thought I was still gonna see him run over the little hill. Yo, oh, my heart. Gee whiz. <laughs> All right. Well. Oh. We made it. <laughs> yeah, the plan worked. <laughs> Sheesh. Yeah, how long? Yeah, we can do that. Let's do this part. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> At least some food for a moment. Uh, the weather seems calmer again. What's new? Uh, right, let's cook this stuff. We still have the fire going. Uh, so seven minutes there. Um, right. Is the wind calm now? Very. So shall we go cook up our bear this time? <laughs> hey Mel, welcome in. <laughs> <laughs> I hope life is good. Uh, let's take a chance. Let's uh, pop a stick in here. Yeah, I uh, I decided to come have a bit of a look in HRV. No, as I said it, the wind picked up again. Alright, that's fine. I'm just going to spend the night here. Uh, no rush. No big time rush. Yeah, so we're just chilling in HRV. Uh, we just got in. Uh, we got the bear, but it's very windy outside. So we will go deal with that a little bit later, maybe in the morning. And uh, now we're just cooking up a little bit to make sure we can at least make it through tonight and tomorrow morning. Uh, but the ultimate goal here is to map this place out a little bit. I want to actually, like, if I'm lucky enough, see if I can map out, uh, like, do cartographer in Interloper. I only did it in my Stalker run. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a very nice one. Awesome. Yeah, I also, I have a dog. I'll show you my dog. My, my puppy. His name is Patch. Very happy with him. Uh, remember to name your Cthulhu. And right now he will have your name. Which, I mean, it's not bad. But I'm sure, sure he would appreciate some... Uh, 
some of his actual own identity. <laughs> uh, so we picked up this thing, we are going to get ourselves some cloth. And we'll do the same with those boots in a moment. Uh, let's add this one, it'll burn nice and long. How long do these take to harvest? An hour and thirty. Okay, we'll put on some water first before we do that. Oh, and it's an aurora outside. Nice. Alright, let's do some water. Uh, that's more than long enough so we can harvest these boots. <clears throat> yeah, we probably need to get to sleep. Ho ho ho! Lucky for some. <laughs> that's a very nice one. That's a very nice one. I like it a lot. I'm sure your Tama likes I'm it a lot too. To carry this load for much longer. cave going to be warm enough for us to just sleep the night? Yeah, okay, but that's because of the fire. About back here, where we're not 14 plus another, what, like, few from this thing. That's plus another 10. Yeah, I think we'll be alright. Mm, okay. Uh, then I'm not going to feed that fire, because we cannot possibly let a fire run the entire time we're in this region. Um, so now, do I risk it? I think we just do five, uh, so we get to like that time of day, and then we see what the temp is in this last hour or two. Uh, we're full enough health, so we don't need to... We don't need the continuous sleep. Yeah, gotta have the gotta have the best kit, right? Uh, it's still nine in here. Wow. Okay. Uh, we'll do two more hours. Yeah, I do have. I don't have a second bear coat. I I first opted for the combo. Which I think also confuses the wolves, right? It's like a, a bear and a wolf at the same time. Like, look at those poor little paws. It's it's actually so gross. <laughs> uh, the same with this. I don't know if if you all seen this, but I only realized this the other day that there's a <laughs> like an actual rabbit face on this hat, like here as well on the front. I never really looked at it so intently. <laughs> now I got four sets of eyes. I'm sure that also confuses predators. Actually, six. They all like, what the hell is going on with this thing? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's it's kind of creepy. You gotta be honest. Like, I I like the detail, <laughs> but it is weird. It is really weird. Okay, man, we just need a moment without wind, so we can, uh... Oh, it looks bad. Again. So we can go cook up the rest of that bear and grab the hide, so we can start curing it. Because I would like to come out of here with some bear hides. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a thing, right? It's like... 
like even, all of them actually, right? So this one has like the bear face, that's obvious, and the paws here, I don't know if you've seen that, like they're hanging here, little paws. I don't want to know what that hole is that you put your head through. Then the wolf one, you got like the legs hanging here in front. So it's it feels like essentially you, you climb inside the torso of the wolf, right? So your head sticks out where the wolf's head would be and his little paws are dangling there. I'm assuming the bones are taken out, so they're all floppy. It's quite gross. And then, yeah, the hat with the, the little thing. Uh, these don't have anything special, neither do these. Uh, but I saw that and I was, I was a little bit freaked out by it. <laughs> they, they're quite something, eh? <laughs> uh, okay, so let's go get the bear, then we'll come grab this wolf in a moment. Yes, I shat myself with that wolf. I just, I just want to tell you all that again. Like, whew. Just thinking about it, my heart went a little bit faster. <laughs> okay, you can see all the, all the fires here that we attempted. Uh, we'll just continue with this one. do that. We'll start with a stick just to get this going. And then we'll grab ourselves some meat and while on, some of the meat's cooking on. hopefully we can grab the hide. Okay. Good. That will also warm us up. <clears throat> okay, so we will do two steaks, right? So I'm going to do two kilogram steaks. Uh, this is my usual tactic. Um, and in the time that they cook, we can harvest three more, right? So you'll see they cook for 45, it takes 15, so we can do three of these, right? So we'll do that, um, which means if I take these off and I cook the next two, we can again do three. Right, so another 45. Um, and then when we're done, we now have two that we can cook additionally. So, right, so like this one and this one we can cook. And now while they're cooking, we have one round of harvesting for free. So, essentially now we can do something with that. 45 minutes. Grab the hide and maybe one of the guts. Yeah, it's a little bit longer, but it's okay. And that's how I usually uh, prefer to do it. So that we're as efficient as we can with our time. And I don't really use the tools much. I just use my hands. Uh, they don't go blunt. Or they stay sharp. They stay as sharp as they are. I mean, they're hands. I'm not, I'm not Dr. Full. I don't have knife hands. But maybe with Hulk Harvesting 5, you do get like Dr. Full knife hands. That's why you can do the 100% frozen. That makes sense, actually. Develop some knife hands. Um, right, how long do we have left? 39. We'll do 2. Uh, no, we'll do three, whatever. <clears throat> no, I was talking too much shit. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. So those two, we drop them, we grab these. So now we'll harvest one more round, 
Uh, let's add this one. So we'll do another round of three. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, uh, we gotta get out of here. Fuck. That sucks. <laughs> Do they just like shoot out your index finger, or how does it how does it work? Uh, let's eat one of these. So we are not really. You show me the raw meat. What a moron! Why would you put the raw meat in the radial and leave the cooked meat out of it? Yeah, that makes zero sense. Okay, uh, and the wind once again has decided. Well, you see there we're covered. So maybe... wait now. <laughs> From the pinkies. <laughs> oh man. I think we can get the stuff out of the way in time. That fire should be covered, right? <laughs> I only saw the rest of the comment now, like a drinking tea. <laughs> you speak to the meat in like some fancy British accent. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, okay, is this one gonna work? Let's let's sack a, a stick to find out. Hmm. Seems that one is covered. Okay. Great. Then uh, we will cook here. Awesome. Okay. Never mind. Problem solved. All right. So you can see that we now again have an additional round of already prepared meat. Okay. Well this game mustn't waste our coal now. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. I like it. For me, it'll be like, I think Nikolai Tesla, maybe. I think that'll be a cool one as well. Okay, good. Uh, the wind did change direction, but it's not strong enough for now, uh, which is great. That helps our cause a lot. Uh, so 39 minutes again. Okay, oi. That is cold. Right, let's uh Okay, so fifty three, so we can take one more and then we're like maxed. I'm not gonna be able to carry this load for much longer. Alright, let's get this to the cave. To the cave Damn. This uh weather is just not letting up. Maybe I should have quartered him. Maybe that was the move. And then we go sit in the cave here and do our thing. That's probably the move, right? <laughs> First question. <laughs> not even in an introduction, like not even a hello. Just as he sits down, like, hey man, listen. <laughs> How do I make a pipe out of this? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> um, let's drop this <clears throat> pink meat here and go put the, I think, two guts, maybe three, and the hide down. Yeah, we've got three actually. That's not half bad. 
Nice. Alright. Moving on up in the world. Gee whiz. <laughs> yeah, I feel like the pipe making is one you can probably figure out. <laughs> Maybe. There is a chance. <laughs> but you just can't smoke before. Oh, that's the trick. <laughs> you can't smoke and then think about it. You gotta think about it and then smoke. <laughs> that's usually where things go wrong. <laughs> All right. That's really good. Um so we now have some time again <laughs> to just uh hang around. I'm wondering if I can warm up enough so we can go grab some stuff from this wolf piece by piece. Uh, let's let's spend a moment, just warm up, yeah, like that. And then we'll go brave the cold to grab one thing from the wolf. Alright, so we'll grab the hide first. Because we do need to maintain our coat. Ooh, it's cold. Huh, okay, nice. Yeah, good. Because we do need to maintain what we're wearing. Because uh, we won't be able to craft the other bear coat until we get out of HRV again. Uh, so I guess we go brave that bear once more. We still have a lot of energy for the day, so I mean, might as well go spend an hour or two there with our new friend, Mr. Bear. Wait. Are cold and warm uh, yeah, we still have enough. And we'll find uh, uh, another few boxes here. Is there still enough on him to make this worth it? Yeah, definitely. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Let's try this once more. Oh. Huh. <laughs> okay, we don't have a stick. Uh, maybe I should have turned around and found one, but we're gonna take a 75% chance. I'm gonna take a little, a little fire. chance. I'm sure it'll all be fine. Damn it! Oh, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. All right. We'll, we'll we'll create a stick first. Very well. Very well. That'll give us a, a slightly better chance of starting this fire. <laughs> Man, she got so upset about that as well. Like. Astrid, you used a torch to light another shitty torch. Come on, little fire! Shouldn't be too upset. Okay, if you're not using the right tools for the job, you can't get too angry, right? Okay, and we should warm up here. Yeah, okay, good. Uh, so we'll do two of these. And then we'll do the thing again. Okay. So again, we'll do three kgs. When the next two are cooking, we'll do three more. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Um, let's drop 
this one here and these two here. Let's add a coal and we'll do three more. Oh, yeah, don't be a dick, wind. There was a comma in there, right? Don't be a dick, comma, wind. I mean, I guess don't be a dick, wind is also pretty funny. <laughs> uh, Alright. Uh, so now we have the two additionals, uh, which means we can spend a moment and harvest something else. Uh oh! Uh oh, SpaghettiOs! It's another Aurora. Okay, you're cooked, you're cooked. Uh, okay, so we still have an hour. Let's do three here. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Okay, at least we're setting ourselves up for success here. Gonna be very nice when we have all this meat. Okay, it's a bit of a risk adding another coal to that. Oh, that sucks. Bear is gone. Okay, so we'll just wait for these to finish uh, while we wait. Might as well do something else, right? Do a bit of knitting while the while the meat's cooking. Okay, and we still have a bit of fire left, so let's let's use it. Let's not let it go to waste. Uh, we're gonna take this out, and then we'll start. Oh, we still had this one. Oops. Oh well. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Okay, let's take some of the stuff to our cave while our water is boiling. And now we gotta be really careful because we stink quite drastically. I always end up living in this cave. Uh, I guess it's just what I know. Nomad, good evening. Hope life is treating you well. You were playing Overwatch earlier, that's nice. That's really nice. How's it going, man? What's new? How's the weekend treating you? Okay. So let's come drop cooked meats here. We'll build our highway in a little bit. Uh, let's just first get all the stuff. Uh, so just to catch you up, Nomad, we're in Hush River Valley. Uh, I decided to come spend some time here. Uh, I don't spend enough time in this region. And I actually think it's really nice. And I'd like to know a bit more about how it works. So thus, we are here. Yeah, that's cool, man. I think uh, I think it's a nice game. I'm doing really well. Uh, yeah, had a day. I did end up going shopping today. I looked at a bunch of TVs and washing machines and fridges and bed bases and couches. 
all kinds of shit for the new house. Uh, actually, let's go eat one of the other ones. Uh, so that was cool. Like, yeah, I think I know what I want and what I don't want now. And, uh, yeah, I've also only watched, <laughs> I've only overwatched a bit. I uh, never really played it myself. But it looks fun. It looks really fun. I don't know if I have the reflexes for it. But, I mean, who cares? As long as you're having fun, it doesn't matter. Okay, I'm going to do that and then I'll come back for the last one. I don't want to go over 55 because then we don't have a sprint bar anymore. Uh, I don't know what it is when you measure in pounds. Oh, right. I said I was going to eat one of those. That would have. Ho 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 ho! <laughs> Stinky ass luring all the wolves in. Damn, they keep coming around the corner like that. That sucks quite a bit. I prefer if we have a bit more vision of them. But I mean, he can see what I did to his friend. He shouldn't get too cocky. There is another one that side, we'll go eat that. Okay, so it's like almost, it's essentially doubling it. Oh, I thought I... I thought I released in time. Oh, this mechanic is so fucking stupid. I should swap to the uh, non-button mashing one. Yeah, it's alright. I really thought I released in time. Okay, well, not the end of the world. We still made it. Maybe we'll leave the rest outside for now. Uh, like, not venture out there again, because we if we lose another one, we'll die. Uh, I'll just check my clothing in a moment. Yeah, it was quite a quick one. <laughs> uh, it's fine. We were taking some risks, right? Fucking walking around outside in the Aurora. Uh, if our water there boils out, that's okay. We, we do have some more. Uh, so let's sleep it off. I think that's a, a safer option. Uh, let me just make sure. Yeah, we just have pain and the sprain. Okay, that's not too bad. And I wanted to check our clothing. Yeah, he really ripped through our stuff. Okay. Um, maybe we... We can sleep first, right? I mean, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Yeah, almost good as new. Nice, we healed up a lot. And uh, we can drop a birch tea if it's... if we need to. Uh, okay, so the first things first is let's just repair this a little bit. So I don't want to lose my combat pants if I don't need to. No, you can do it. You can do it, buddy. I know there are more in here, but I don't know if they're ruined by now. Because uh, we took quite long. Right, it's like late in this run already. Uh, we'll do one more, get them back to 90%. And we need to get some rabbits down fast. Uh, we have the one, but I mean that's not that's not going to be enough. 
Alright, and then we can go have a look and see if our water made it. Uh, but that'll teach us don't, uh, don't mess around during an aurora. Be a bit more careful. Uh, but I did get that guy with the with the hatchet, so we might find him there. Uh, let's just quickly go have a look at our water and grab our pots. And I need to pick up a stick or two, uh, otherwise we're going to be in that type of trouble again. Oh, nice. Huh. Not bad. Uh, we'll take these two back to our cave. I want to go grab that stick, but there's no way I'm going to walk up to that blind hill while stinking. <laughs> Not right now. We can do that a little bit later. Once our health is recovered, we'll, we'll take some more risks again. Nice one. Uh, so that one is cooked, and this one is in the roll pile. Let's grab just a sip of water, um, and we can put a bottle down here as well. And we can actually even put another one down, and then. Uh, harvest this for a stick. I just want to see what else is pushing us uh, so over the weight limit. Uh, so maybe some of this coal is pushing us. Um, Yeah, not too much. Yeah, indeed. Uh, they lost about two streams. And I had a really long stream yesterday, unfortunately, for your cat. Uh, I had to finish that neonative run. I was getting a bit tired of it. Okay, good. Let's get out of here. Um, yeah, I mean, I usually don't stream that long, like, so, uh, I mean, we can tweak the settings, I, uh, I'm the one who wrote it, so, I mean, I have full control over how it works. So, that's not to say that... Uh, we can't change it. I'm not sure I can carry much more. <laughs> hey, what's up, Grim? Good to see you. Hope life is treating you well. Uh, I guess you just woke up, hey mate. Nice and early in uh, in Oz or Straya. <laughs> uh, we we finished the challenge that you were watching the other day, where we had no clothes on. Um, <clears throat> I finished it yesterday. I made it <laughs> made it fifty days. I'm quite happy. Um, yeah, so today I'm just uh, just playing on my chill interloper run. 
Yeah, thanks. We did get frostbite, unfortunately, in that run, so it will be disqualified by the judges, but I am more than happy that I completed it. I don't think many people did. So, uh, we'll see. Yeah, sorry, Grim, your uh, previous pet didn't make it. <laughs> And I always stream when you're sleeping. <laughs> so let's see if your uh, if your dog makes it. <laughs> Fucking stuffle over here. I like it. <laughs> it's a very very Afrikaans name for a dog. That's for sure. I named mine Patch first, right? I also got a dog, but uh, <laughs> no, I think I think you uh, you got me there. Uh, hyped for a more Afrikaans name. So Takis is uh, like uh, how it's like running shoes. What is it? Sneakers? It's like calling your dog sneakers. Um, and you usually do that because your dog ate your shoes. <laughs> that was actually the name of my first dog. We had this Rottweiler Doberman mix. And his name was Takis. <laughs> yeah, fun times. That dog was really cool. Like he was this big fat dog. <laughs> and we... We gave him like sometimes leftovers of like what we ate. That's thus why he was fat, obviously. Um, but he had this amazing ability to eat around peas. So we would just like drop it all in his bowl and then he would scoff it all down at the speed that a dog eats food. Right, so like just. And, uh,. All that would be left in the bowl is like peas. I, I never knew how the hell he did it. It was like very impressive. <laughs> I named my mom's dog Little Shit. <laughs> because it is a little it's shit. So That's cool. nice, man. <laughs> All right, let's go warm up a bit. Oh, oops. I never fixed that uh, synonym thing. Uh, but you can also use the command, I'll just tell you. It is Tama, Tamagotchi, or Pet. All of those commands do the same thing. Whoops. <laughs> I knew there was something else I needed to fix, but <laughs> I forgot what it was. Uh, okay, while we're really cold, let's harvest this rabbit so we get the other skin drying, the hide. Well, they call it a pelt, right? So the wolf is a pelt, the rabbit is a pelt. The bear is a hide for some reason, but I mean, it still has hair on it, evidently. So I'm a bit confused as to why. And uh, it's the tip. Uh, there you go. Sorry, I just had to allow <laughs> add permitted term slut. Jeez. <laughs> when you say it like that, Twitch, that's quite rough. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, don't mess with auto mod. Auto mod will put you in your place. <laughs> Mm 
Okay, cool. There's that. And I'm just going to take it slow. Uh, we'll do... What I meant was uh, instead of Tama, you can use Pet or Tamagotchi. What? Well, how does your cat sleep with its eyes open? That is creepy, dude. <laughs> well... Yeah, exactly like that. Wow, my son does that sometimes, but just like he has these, um, like, squint eyes. I don't know why, but like when he's not super tired, then he just like squints his eyes. So he doesn't really want to close him, but he's too tired to be fully awake. <laughs> it's like in this middle state, and then he's like, uh, yeah, just like squints his eyes. While I'm like, I don't know, walking up and down with him or something. They have two sets of eyelids. Oh, the cats. I was like, kids don't, no. <laughs> what a moron. Fucking thinking you're, you're talking about my kid. I'm like, no, he doesn't have two sets of eyelids. He's a child. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh so let's start <clears throat> with our little quest here. Yeah, come stand here in the cold. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, how dare you <laughs> tell me my child has two sets of eyelids. <laughs> how could I even think that that's what it's about? Gee whiz. <laughs> I think that's the worst. <laughs> that's the worst one. C streamer banned for believing in conspiracies. Let's warm up a bit, and we'll grab the rest of this wolf. Uh, we might just do it in slow little sections. And let's not work on a knife too hard. Uh, we don't have that much on it. Okay, and I'll just do a kg at a time to make sure our temperature stays intact. Uh, that way. <laughs> Dude, are you serious? That's... that's not... that's not even cool, man. <laughs> So we did use to blink sideways, like under our eyelid. Does it does an appendix serve act no actual purpose? Like not even for a moment? Okay, I think that's good. Right, I just like to get these sorted, and then uh, then we'll at least be somewhere. Oh, we also need to get a deer hide here. Mm. Okay, that'll be one of our next missions, I think. Just warm up a little bit before we do any anything too fancy. That is, that is quite intense. Oh wait, there's that deer carcass up here. Then we don't need to go hunt one, and then we can get a hide dropped as soon as we can. That's perfect, actually. 
Uh, so we might waste some of this meat because I'm not going to have time. Oh. Okay, interesting. So now only sushi enjoyers uh, use their appendix. <laughs> Yo, it is freaking cold, eh? That half the li wait, I just want to pause so I don't die here. Half the Latino people in the study had monolids. What does that mean? What is a monolid? Can't have just one, right? Gotta have two, otherwise it can't open. <laughs> I feel like I'm, that word is misleading. Look now, dude, you're a monolid. Okay, so we just took some cold damage today, and now we're basically back where we were yesterday. It's so cold. Uh, a bit unfortunate, it's but... Yeah, I'm sure it is. Why isn't it? It's still the flesh of an animal. I don't think meat just comes from... Yeah, because I mean you can get meat from birds. Right, I see. So you're saying because it's so different from like from what we uh, from like uh, what I'll call classical meat. I'm not sure because it's still like the the substance that most the body is made of. But then you can argue that the goop inside a worm is also meat, right? Because that's the substance that most of the body is made of. So I I, I can see your argument. I, I don't know what the what the answer is. <laughs> uh, okay, let's let's spend some time just in here warming up. Uh, we need to wait anyway for these hides to cure. Uh, so we're not in a rush. <clears throat> okay. I'll drink some water. We're gonna sleep. And then we see what we can do from there. Okay, let's get some healing on. Uh, yeah, that was enough. Enough brain for one day, right? <laughs> enough brain. Uh, let's see. We're still okay. We're still doing alright. Couldn't sleep through the night, but... I guess such is life sometimes. I can personally always sleep through the night because I always push myself way too far. Uh, like I'm busy doing now. Okay. I'm going to call it right here. Quit while we're ahead. Because um, there is still a lot of HRV to explore. And then... I am going to see who's online and we'll go give him a raid. Um, yeah, how about Mr. DH Dunn? Let's go stop there, but I haven't been to stream in a while. Uh, so I'm just copying the username and uh, we're gonna hit a raid. Alright, uh, I'm going to start the raid in a few seconds. I just want to say thank you, everybody. It's been amazing having you here. You're all awesome. And, uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you all same, same time, same place, uh, just tomorrow. Um, cool. Till later.